Okay, so before you attach your walking foot, you want to make sure that the thread cutter is removed if your machine has one on it. It's often found on the presser bar, which is usually right above where the presser foot is attached. So if, it, if your machine has one on it, slide it down and off the machine. So Ruthie's going to help me um, demonstrate how the walking foot is attached. Take the fork arm and slide it up over the needle bar at the same time that the fork goes over the presser bar. And now it is in position. You can see how the fork goes over the needle bar here and the fork goes around the presser bar and it's just waiting for the thumb screw. And then Ruthie will go ahead and screw that in. And now you're ready to quilt on your Singer Featherweight. Okay, I'm going to be using the walking foot um, that is designed for the Singer Featherweight because the feed dogs are in line with the uh, teeth on the walking foot so it'll give a better and more even feed. Um, to begin, you want to lock your stitches and in order to do that, um, you will be using your stitch length lever um, over on the right side and I'll show you that right here. Okay, so this is your stitch length lever. When you use your walking foot and you're going to be quilting, you want your stitch length um, to be six. Um, that is the longest stitch. It's like a basting stitch. But when you have all the layers, it tends to not look as long of a stitch because of the, how the fabric advances. So I always put mine at about six. When I'm going to be putting my feed dogs in neutral, then I raise the lever up till it is parallel with the floor. So this is the position for having it be in neutral. And then when I need to go down again, when I'm going to go forward and advance my stitches, then I just lower my stitch length lever. But if I need to fine tune it and go to a certain point, then I can raise it exactly where I want it and it'll move my feed dogs and my needle can be directed exactly to that point. So when I raise and lower my stitch length lever, you can see that it's moving the feed on the machine. And that kind of gives you some control and it becomes a tool that you can use when you need to um, direct your needle exactly to a certain point. So we'll get started. We need to lock our stitches. So I'm going to raise my stitch length lever so it's parallel with the floor and that will be in neutral. So my feed dogs will not be advancing or going in reverse. It'll just be stationary. So I will hold my thread tails back here and just do three stitches there. And that locks my stitch in place to get started. And then I'm gonna be using um, the little guy, they're kind of slots where those teeth are on the walking foot. I'm gonna use that as kind of my guide to uh, quilt along this edge. Whoops. And I'm gonna lower my stitch length lever all the way down to six. So it just evenly quilts. And then when I come to the point, if I'm not, if, if I go too, this is too far, but I don't want to go too far, I can raise my stitch length lever just a little bit to kind of take me right where I want to be so that I can pivot. Okay, and we'll go ahead and pivot now. So I raise my presser foot. And I lower it back down again. And then I just quilt along that seam. And if I want to lock my stitches again, I just raise my stitch length lever to parallel with the floor. Okay, I just want to give you um, a little demonstration of how this walking foot works on the Singer Featherweight. You can see, I'll show you where I'm aligning it. I'm kind of, there's a seam right here and I'm aligning it to the teeth here. So that I'm just a little, I don't know, about an eighth or maybe three sixteenths of an inch over from this seam.
And then I'm going to lock my stitch. And now I'm ready to do another pass. <laughs> 